Welcome back. Well, uh, World Greek Day, uh, March 22nd, that's tomorrow. It's uh, coming at a time when uh, food insecurity is a major risk occasioned by the COVID-19 and now the uh, war in Ukraine. What would be the best way to celebrate uh, the day this year? The market system and a specialist for integrated agriculture activity, Mr. Bassi Achibong, joins us from Yola uh, for the conversation. Great to have you on the program. Good morning. Thank you very much, Larry. Uh, good morning, viewers. Good morning. It's so, great to... yeah, great to great to have you. So, uh, this year's uh, agriculture uh, theme, the, the the day, the theme is uh, growing a climate for tomorrow. You know, we've heard talks about you know moving to cleaner energy to save the planet, but you know we've seen the war in Ukraine further show the the great reliance you know uh, globally on uh, a dirty alternative. What do you think would be the catalyst here to get the climate we actually need? Okay, um, let me thank you very much. Let, let me start with the war in uh, in uh, in Ukraine and what we are doing here. As you know, in, uh, in International uh, Institute of uh, Tropical Agriculture uh, and the Feed the Future Nigeria Integrated Activity is a, a USA effort to uh, reduce uh, poverty in uh, Northeast Nigeria because of uh, uh, issues of insurgency and uh, increase in poverty in the region. And so um, I think we need to know that the war in Ukraine uh, is, uh, has its own impacts directly in Nigeria. As at 2021, Nigeria imported uh, about one, uh, uh, 128 million naira worth of wheat from, from Russia. And we also imported a number of seafood, particularly frozen food uh, from Russia. Nigeria also imports uh, from Ukraine milk uh, preparation um, worth 721 million. And so when you look at this and you look at what is happening, there is a, a demand gap. Uh, so for, for us um, working in the Northeast, we are looking at uh, building, uh, capitalizing on, on what is happening to look inward and uh, get farmers to produce, to meet uh, the uh, needed uh, raw materials for, for processing by uh, different uh, uh, millers and uh, and firms. Right, and you know, obviously, th th this war is putting a huge pressure, you know, on uh, global uh, uh, food supply. But you know, looking at what Nigeria is actually uh, producing, how can we, you know, uh, bridge this uh, gap that's uh, happening globally? Okay, so um, let me quickly say that. Um, it starts from uh, both the those who are processing and, and knowing that they cannot just uh, talk about uh, doing aggregation as, as it were, but they have to be involved right from the process of um, getting farmers to produce to meet uh, their needs. For instance, uh, um, the demand for uh, maize in, in, in 2021, uh, was about uh, 15 million metric tons, and Nigeria was uh, just able to produce about 10.5 metric tons. And so there's that demand gap of about 4.5 metric tons, which uh, uh, informs uh, imports. So for those who are, who are milling, um, if they invest in uh, in the production side, it would have served them uh, the, the needed for, uh, for it, uh, foreign uh, exchange and the beginning point is actually to get the right kind of seeds and as you know IIT uh, International Institute for, for, for Tropical um, Agriculture is known for their their research in uh, and uh, their expert in seed production that is exactly what we are doing here in the north is to get farmers to begin to think business to get farmers to begin to not look at themselves just as farmers, but to, to look at what the market needs and then uh, produce to meet uh, market. So uh, for, for us, we are very conscious of the fact that there is there is gap. 
uh, large gap in uh, in rice, large gap in maize, and gap in uh, in soya beans. And these are some of the things. These are some of the uh, uh, produce that uh, Nigeria is importing from different countries. So we need to look inward. We need to uh, look at um, those uh, entities that are working to increase uh, um, production. Right. So for us in. Uh, okay. Yeah. For you. Yeah. You. You, you continue right. your thought. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So um, what we are doing is to look at the uh, end to end. It's just like uh, the upstream and and and, uh, and downstream sector in uh, in uh, in petroleum. Those who are uh, milling are looking at you know uh, final products, but they cannot just focus on the final product. They need to be uh, involvement throughout the value chain up to those who are producing. That is where we are uh, expert on. We facilitate linkages between the off-taker, the processors, with the farmers. Our, our role here is to ensure that um, the farmers produce to meet what the, the, the market needs. So it's, it's, it, we look at the entire eco, uh, ecosystem as far as uh, Crop, uh, crop production and animal uh, you know, production is, uh, is concerned. All right, and you know we, we've seen uh, the disruption, you know, with with the war uh, in Ukraine. We've seen uh, uh, countries that are heavily uh, heavily reliant, you know, on uh, Russian uh, wheat. You know, we've seen them start to, you know, come up with other options. You know, for Nigeria now, what options do we have actually? Well, um, um, for uh, that two things with what is happening with the distortions in the markets in uh, in Ukraine. Uh, one is that the the presence of of this of those goods which we de, uh, which we depend on uh, imports wheat maize uh, soya beans those prices will uh, will increase. That also presents an opportunity for us for the government for for key players key actors to come together and look inwards. We need to uh, uh, be able to develop uh, the system that does not really depend on imports. And that starts from us getting farmers the right kind of support, uh, the right kind of inputs. Inputs here, are we, are we talking about seeds? Are we talking about uh, fertilizer? And are we talking about the, giving them the right kind of training that allows them to produce within the space they, they, they have uh, and they have uh, optimal yield. You know, um, IITA is a research uh, institute. And so what we're doing here is bringing the research into the field. We are developing a robust uh, seed system. Um, we, are, we are already uh, going on as if we, we knew that this will come up. We have um, uh, developed what we call the community-based seed system. Because if you don't have the right kind of seeds, whatever other inputs that you pour on your on your crop will be a waste. We have had instances where farmers are, are given uh, grains to plant instead of seeds. But what we do in, in IITA and our partners is to uh, ensure that the right kind of seeds that fits the environment, that, uh, that speaks to uh, what will give the, the farmers uh, high yield and meets the demand of the industry is planted. So what we do is to take the farmer through that, uh, that, that process. We, there's still a lot of opportunity despite the war. Well, you know, in, in every uh, adverse uh, environment or, or situation, you create opportunities that will allow you to um, uh, survive. And so we see a huge opportunity here for, for Nigerians, for, for the government, for those who are milling, for those who are, who are uh, processing, to come right. together and, and look at the, the, the entire system. Right. And, uh, you know, uh, food security obviously is a major, you know, uh, issue now uh, globally. But how close is Nigeria to self-sufficiency? 
Uh, I'm afraid to, to say we are, we're not there yet. Uh, but we have a number of uh, a number of processes, a number of uh, uh, programs, um, which uh, the, which are moving all towards uh, the path of uh, being self-sufficient. But there are a lot of a uh, lot of uh, constraints. You, I, I, I don't know if, if you did. Uh, uh, if you did agree in your in your in secondary school, I, act, act, I actually did, and I, I did very well in uh, Greek science. <laughs> okay, something something that you would not wish we should uh, worry you. Problems of agriculture. That, um, problems facing agriculture in Nigeria. In Nigeria, those the same problems, problems. Yeah. Those problems are, are still the same since I was in class three. The, your own time to the time of our children. And so it is something that is an, is an indicator to, to show that uh, per, perhaps we are not, uh, there's something that we should be doing you know, to be able to uh, at least eliminate some of those uh, problems facing agriculture, which is what um, IETA and other research firms and research institutions are, are, are currently doing. But now we, what we are doing is to move those research from the lab to the field. Looking at, for, for instance, here, before we, we got into uh, the working in the Northeast, uh, we needed to do soil tests and soil sam the sampling to match uh, appropriate uh, crop varieties to the agro, uh, agro ecology of the Northeast. And so when you look at um, wheat, for instance, I would expect that um, with uh, uh, wheat seeds, the, the right kind of uh, seeds be tested to see how it fits into the different uh, uh, agroecology in Nigeria. That is the only way you can have uh, what, is, uh, what is adaptable to the local environment here. And so uh, we already have uh, efforts on ongoing with maize, with soya beans, uh, with, with, uh, with rice, and other uh, commodities. All right, so all right. My, yeah, you, you, can, you can carry on, yes. Your thoughts? Okay, yeah, so my, my, the, my thinking and my, uh, our, our own suggestion uh, largely is that we need to deal with the issue of seeds. Once you have the right kind of seeds, then half or maybe 60% of the problem is, is solved. Because if you don't deal with, with seeds, if you don't have the right seeds that fits the agroecology of any environment, then whatever other inputs that you are, uh, that you are dealing with will be um, uh, waste. Uh, one of the uh, problems uh, that is subsisting here in the north is, is that, you know, when you apply fertilizer to, to, to crop, um, there are certain fertilizers that are specific to uh, certain growth, uh, 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 growth uh, pattern of, 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 of crop. So if you pick urea, for, for instance, urea is, uh, is is good for uh, seeding of, of uh, uh, grain. But here, um, we are faced with uh, a situation that urea is not allowed in the Northeast because uh, granules are used for uh, improvised right. uh, explosive devices. So we needed to look at uh, how can we circumvent this? And so we, uh, uh, we partner with firms who are producing liquid uh, fertilizer to be able to uh, okay. link them up with, with farmers so that they can still continue to uh, do, uh, do their farming. All right. We are also, yeah, thank you. So, all right, all right, so Mr. All right, Mr. Archibald. Well, I, I see you guys are, you know, uh, making uh, some uh, progress 
uh, there with the uh, with this, with the myriad of uh, problems, you know, uh, facing us in that uh, agri uh, sector. Thank you so much, Mr. Bansi Achibong, uh, Specialist Integrated Agriculture Activity. Co thank you for coming on a uh, business morning today. Thank you very much, Larry. Anytime. Okay.